another piece of plain card and this time we're going to do rock salt okay so I'm just using some coarse sea salt here just out of the kitchen cupboard anything you like really so again I'm getting a nice good soaking on my paper paper has to be really wet for this technique okay you could do your colour blotting okay you could quite easily like I'm going to do oh I just think that looks absolutely magical like that doesn't it beautiful now with doing the salt technique I find it does work better with stronger colours than with the paler colours so a little top tip there shows up more it's a bit more vibrant okay so that is all my colours on there and then I'm just going to go in with my salt and just shake my salt on the top now it's up to you how much or how little you wish to add the choice is entirely up to you I normally like to give it a nice good covering okay once you start adding the salt you can see there's not as much movement this is where I go in again with my water spray and just give it a nice spritz just by giving it a spritz we're getting the water is getting into the salt and making it do its thing it's all just magical okay so let me move this to one side this again does need to dry naturally is not something you can dry with a heat gun because what happens is the um, the salt takes up the color from the cardstock or the paper okay so it's just a fabulous thing to do and it just looks absolutely amazing but in good fashion I've got one here that I did this morning now it's not totally dry but I think it's dry enough for me to show you what to do now leave that to dry can you see already how the, the salt is you can see it's dry it's coming loose okay I would leave these overnight definitely so give that a shake those off and then with your hands just rub the salt away now you'll see that I'm capturing all this salt onto a piece of kitchen paper now can you see what has happened to the salt the salt has taken up the colour of the sparkle pens excuse the noise but just rub this away it, it gives you this lovely crystalled effects you know I think cars or cars with background like this are great for people um, who are visually impaired you know because it's a nice touchy feely um, background for them you know so it's great for using for anything but look at all this salt I've got this is why I don't throw this away because to me these are absolutely superb to use inside your shaker cards so if any of you are into shaker cards this is just beautiful to use for shaker cards okay so that's how it looks wet let me turn it round that's how it looks dry with all that lovely sparkle on there not only from the sparkle pens but also from the salt and that beautiful texture and we've got the salt as well and if I bring my technique book in here as well no two ever look the same you're never going to get two identical it's just it's just impossible because you're adding so much water and every time the different amount of salt you're going to add but look at that beautiful effect that you get and texture so this is your salt technique using your sparkle pens